We're at the Prairie Creek Redwoods State Park and we're gonna hike this Prairie Creek Trail that the ranger at the beach told us to check out yesterday. She said there's some really huge trees on it. So we'll see what they have here. Here's an example of how when a tree is damaged, other seedlings can start sprouting out of the damaged tree and they use their, the trees, the original tree's root system. So then they grow According really, to the sign, yeah. They grow really fast. Yeah. It's like a burl, except the tree it's attached to is no longer here. A lot of these redwoods are grouped together in huge clumps. There's probably four or five trees out of this clump, which makes the base of it huge. This is the root ball of some overturned redwood tree, and since it's been here, there's now bushes and other kinds of trees growing out of the end of it. It's kind of interesting. Right in between my fingers is 26 years. So if you just kind of guesstimate, there's 50 years. So 100 years, you know, 200 years. 250. I mean, this, this tree is probably 400 years old or something. 400, 500 years old. Maybe. It was and it died. It could be older. Alex likes to be exact. So it's 200 so far. One, two, three, eighty-four, eighty-five. Almost done. 301, 302, 303, 318, 319. This is 319 years old. 319? Mm -hmm. Cool. Older than our country. <laughs> what are you guys doing? So far, Prairie Creek Redwoods State Park has not disappointed. The trees here are huge. I think they're quite a bit bigger than what we saw yesterday, even at the Lady Bird Johnson Grove. These trees are super tall and really big around, and there's, they're really dense. There's just a lot of them all around you everywhere you look. It's a pretty amazing place. What'd you guys find? A tree cave. A tree cave. Yeah, it looks like a house right out of a fairy tale or something. What did you guys find over here? This is like a just a never-ending playground of things to look at and things to climb on which makes getting anywhere fast not really gonna happen with these kids <laughs>
they constantly have to climb on something. Found a nice spot for a picnic right here, overlooking the ocean. I saw a sea lion. And no one saw a sea lion off the coast. We left the picnic area and traveled down the road. And as we came around a corner, we noticed that there was someone else traveling down it. After our exploration of the forest, we made another visit to the tide pools below the campground so the kids could show Lauren the sea creatures we had discovered. Okay. Yeah, the waves are getting big. It's kind of going. <laughs> Ow, his feet hurt. Ow. His feet hurt. He's cute. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Don't be so cute. Do you know that little Okay, I should probably put him down. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so cute. Yeah. Oh, Bunch of clothes, sea anemones, right by this starfish on the rock here. Okay, turn. Okay, 
Oh, there's two. Oh no, I don't want to hurt you. I could touch it. It's cool. Whoa, oh, that was just... Hi, little guy, how are you? Angry, probably. The waves are coming in. Waves when you look out there seem like they're way over our head, like they should just come in. Uh huh. It's a snail, maybe. Well, we had another fun day here on the coast with the Redwoods. Um, we're back at our camp now, and for one of the first times on this entire trip, we are having a campfire without any fear of setting the entire forest on fire. So it's nice to have this fire because it's also 50 degrees outside, which is kind of crazy because a lot of this trip, it's been over 100. So we've had the whole whole entire gamut of weather conditions. A fog has rolled in, so the forest is kind of a interesting, uh, misty look to it. Um, we're all enjoying our hot dogs and s'mores over the fire, and hopefully we'll get a early night's sleep tonight and be able to get up a little earlier than we have been tomorrow and see some of the other stuff in the area.